All right. Y'all want to be ready. A nigga from Dallas, Texas. Right, star ball smack. He say ball smack. I'm 34 years old. I'm a 34 year old nigga out here working and living. I usually have at least two bitches in rotation, but right now I'm down to zero. I have a house, a decent vehicle, and my fit game is solid. I feel like I've been on a bad luck run with bitches. I had three bitches flake on me in a row. And then this particular event happened. I met a new bitch. It seemed like she might be a blessing from God, a little 27-year-old bad bitch accountant. We went out twice. This was the first time we had dinner and drinks. Shit got heated in the car, but I didn't fuck. Almost a month went by before we linked up again. She hit me on some surprise shit. I was happy to hear from a bitch. We went out for dinner and drinks again. Shit got heated. We went back to my house. I had forgot my AC was out and I was using big fans that day. My air wouldn't be fixed for a few days. I thought it would be cool enough to get it popping. The bitch came into my crib. I thought it was about to go up. Shit went left. Shit went left immediately. She was irritated, complaining about the heat. I lit a blunt that she wanted to hit. And she was like, oh, my God, that blunt smells like shit in here. Let's smoke in the car. We finished the blunt in the car, and the bitch wanted to wrap the night up. I couldn't get the bitch back online for at least two weeks. I couldn't get a bitch on the phone for at least two weeks. A bitch was like, did you get the AC fixed? It was smelling like feet and meal. Uh, it was smelling like feet, mid weed, and mildew carpet in there. I almost threw up in there. Then a bitch laughed at me. Boss Mac, she said she was down to link up and let me redeem myself, but it's been a few weeks though. Hit the like button for the sucker shit that you heard. Hit the like button. Yeah, man. What's the name of this podcast? What did I call this? What's the name of this? How to, what is it? How to, how to lead the best impression. Yeah, that's what I call it. How to lead the best impression. How to leave the best impression. Yeah, that's what I call it. That's what I call it. Yeah, man. See? Hey, man, look. Sometimes, okay. I know you niggas niggas be having bitches. And niggas niggas be excited about when they going to get the fuck and all that type of shit. And niggas be excited. And and the opportunity present itself. And in your mind, in your mind, you think some shit is acceptable. But it ain't acceptable. You know what I'm saying? And... um, you know what I'm saying? You, and you do a bad impression. You know what I'm saying? So the impression is bad. So you got to make sure, like, even, look, like, this is the delicate part right here. Like, 
an opportunity may present itself with a bitch. Like an opportunity may present itself for some pussy or for, you know, it, it, the opp- opportunity present itself for some pussy. It's about to be lit. But the bitch got to the bitch got to come over to your house and you're not ready yet. You know what I'm saying? It's not ready. You know what I'm saying? But this the only time the bitch saying she want to come through. But you're not ready yet. You feel me? So you got to write it right there. You got to write it off and be like, I wasn't ready. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a blow the whole situation dead. And then if I blow the bitch because I blew this opportunity, then I would rather her have the memory of me flaking on her, canceling some shit on her. I'd rather have her have the memory of me flaking on her, canceling, than her have the memory that she came to my house and smelled shit and mildew. You know what I'm saying? And I was still trying to fuck in them conditions i was still and it was hot and sticky and i was still trying to fuck in them conditions so you know what i'm saying you know it's it's always best to air with the you know what i'm saying like straight arm in a bitch it's always even if you don't want to you like damn man i might be hey man I, the ball smack top soil have vetoed pussy Many times because I was tired. Because I was like, hey, man, you know what? <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm tired right now. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even want to risk a fucked up performance. You know what I'm saying? This is a tremendous opportunity with a bad bitch. I wasn't, I wasn't even, I wasn't even expecting no kind of way expecting no pussy. And then all of a sudden it was a pussy situation. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to say I'm gonna have to veto this and let it be perceived in your mind that I was being shitty, even though I personally didn't want to risk a shitty performance and fuck up my reputation. I, I, I'd rather have you say, oh, nigga, f- the nigga acted shitty and flaked on me versus he 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 put some shitty dick on the table. And then I got it. I'm like this, like, I, you know, I look like, you know what I'm saying? And I knew I was tired before. And I knew I, was, I, knew I didn't have all in me. But I was like, fuck it. I'm, a, you know, this is my only opportunity so I'm taking it down, you know what I'm saying? Really selfish. Really some selfish shit. Hit the like button for this game.